Welcome back ladies and gents, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at BikuBot and it's recent update, one of the recent updates with bit alerts. So let's get into it. So we are going to be looking at the alert section in BikuBot. Um, we have done some videos in the past, so do check them out. I'll put a link to the playlist below uh, or above here. So do check them out. Um, we're going to be uh, looking at, um, once you've opened BQ, BQBot, there is an updated it to all the recent updates. There are uh, a section for alerts now, just here. Um, we um, it, The only one at the moment is bits, so you do get an, a, a default one, and this is for setting up your alerts. So I'm just going to delete all these for now. Because um, what you can do is you can create something in OBS, which we're going to briefly show you um to make some basic alerts or you can get really advanced with it um the more you can control it in obs all you need to do is then trigger them in bq bot and it will do it so we'll just show you a few quick bits that you can do so we've clicked into the 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 bit creator the bit the bit alert section i've just called it bit alerts i think it stays default when you do it um there's a couple of bits we can do so bits like look we just had there so we can have a couple of tts sections just wang them up to the full percent. Um, we're going to do custom message with it. You can do um, you can do user. Where is it? You, if you hover over them, it tells you exactly what what it is. So get not user message. I want user message for this one. Uh, I will get it right in a second. There we go. User. Uh, cheered. Uh, and then we can get the amount of bits that they've cheered. Bits. Um, uh, then we can put thank you. So this this will be a, a TTS message. This is what's brilliant about BQ Bot for me. Like there's a TTS is so easy to use, and we just bongo one thousand nine hundred and eighty six cheered one hundred bits. Thank you. There we go. So if somebody does that, it will trigger. Uh, if somebody triggers the the amount of bits that they do, it can be a different amount. Um, it can uh, whatever the amount they do. They will select the amount. You can also add, if you really want, um, <coughs> excuse me, bits total as well. You can add that, so that's a grand total of what they've, they've cheered in total. Uh, not everybody likes that. You can see that in the leaderboard as well. But it is quite a nice little little touch if people want to keep a track of how much they've, they've done, uh, see where they are in leaderboard or like that. Um, the, the next bit you can do down here, is we can do, after that one, we can do a custom message. So if, when somebody's actually put in, <coughs> excuse me, uh, an actual message that they they they've actually typed in with the bit message with the bit cheer, with, um, then it this will is a test. play that message. So that's a test message. Um, at the moment, we can I can just do a quick test with my um, my bot account. So we're just going to do we're going to do it for. Uh, and uh, hello YouTube there we go so we're going to test that one now bongo bot 1986 <laughs> cheered 10 bits hello YouTube like and subscribe make sure you do like and subscribe so that's that's some of the eat it's easy because it's just modular. This is what I like about BQBot. It's modular. It's easy to move stuff around. But say we want to do a an actual alert in OBS. So we're just going to open up our test one. All I've done here at the moment is we've got a uh, a bit. I've just done a text source, a random text source. And in fact, we're going to do a new one. Uh, just show you what what I'm doing. Uh, just put what well, just put bit alert. Just make it a little bit different previous one <coughs> excuse me i'm going to select a font i don't know which one we're going to do just just for a certain um silver link he loves this font and i know a lot of other people like this font as well so um we're going to select okay so we've just at the moment we've got literally nothing just uh Click the button wrong, and we've just changed that. So I'm just gonna actually, we're gonna delete that. That's two seconds. I've messed that one up. So we're gonna redo that one. Uh, test bits. Call it test bits. Oh, that's 
Oops. Uh, we'll leave that actually as aerial. Uh, we're just going to make it 72. As you can see, the box is empty. Just going to drag it over here into the middle, about there. One bit I am going to do, just to add a little bit of bit of swipe. We can go swipe right, just to, to show and hide transitions. Uh, we'll swipe left. There we go. So once we've um, we've done that, we can go back into BQ bot. I'm just going to make it slightly smaller, just so we can see the there. So we're going to go into OBS. Or oh, didn't mean to click two. We only want one. I do have to select me, me test OBS because otherwise it won't work properly. Um, what we're going to do is not source visibility. We're going to go text source, and we're going to overwrite this. Okay, but we do need to select the which one it is. Again, it's we have to select that one. We then have to. Uh, it's not test bit. Oh, it is test bits. Yep. Uh, we're going to put user. Shit. Oh, shit. So bits and uh, thank you. Oh, I can't smell. Can use my new keyboard. Uh, thank you. And then we're just going to save that. And then we're going to do a little quick test. So I will just quickly cheer on my test account and my bot account. Cheer ten. Oh, let me not put a space. There we go. That changes that there. The one bit we will do actually, um, that's going to stay on all the time. Is in BQ Bot. We're just going to add in. Oh, uh, we're just going to add in a, a quick OBS uh, module in there as well. So we'll put that there actually. Yeah. So we're going to go source visibility. We do need. We're going to go test OBS. We're going to go, which scene is it on scene for? We're going to go test bits and we're going to toggle this back. So once it toggles it on it, after so many seconds, which we're going to put say seven, it will toggle it back. We're going to save that again. Make sure you do save in between each section. Um, and then once we'll show you this, it'll toggle it on. Well, it's obviously on at the moment. And then it will toggle it back off after seven seconds. So. Just test that. Bongo 1986 cheered. 100. And we can put 100 bits. I forgot to put that in. Thank you. And then it goes away. But obviously, if you can make something inside of OBS, there's more. Obviously, you use move transition. You can use the the the, um, the show and hide transitions. All different bits. If you can get them, make something in OBS. Then you can create alerts. And then when more alerts come to BQ Bot, so like. Uh, your follower alerts, your um, uh, your subscriber alerts, things like that. It makes it so easy inside a BQ bot just to drag and drop them sections in and then you can create everything and you can have it all local to you. You don't have to rely on any other service like Stream Elements or Streamlabs and stuff like that. So it's a very quick overview or relatively quick overview. There is a lot more you can do with it. Um, the bit I do like about BQBot is how simple it is to use, and I use it in my stream on the regular, especially for things like TTS and stuff like that. So, add in the TTS as well, um, so you can do that at the end. So, if somebody's done that, you can add in your TTS, your custom user message, stuff like that. Just add it in, build it all up, save it, and then you even. I've just remembered, we can even add in new ones where they can do selected amounts of bits. So if somebody does a certain thing in uh, uh, so many bits, so like 100 bits, they can then, it will trigger a, um, I don't know, a, a GIF or a, or a video or a sound. But you can do that as well. So just play around with it if you've got BQBot. Uh, I will put a link to uh, Bakuta's Patreon because you do need to be a Tier 3 Patron, which isn't overly expensive, but it, it, you do have to pay for it. So, um, so thank you all once again. I will catch you all in the next one. Make sure you do check out the BQ Bot playlist we've got above you uh, or around here or in the description. It's going to be there. Anyway, remember to like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.